Linda. We're back in the kitchen today with a brand new recipe for you. We're going to be making a vegan broccoli quiche. So stay tuned. our Fomagerie Zengari Garlic and Fine Herbs Cheese. I have one white onion chopped, I have two to three cloves of garlic minced, and I have about three cups of chopped broccoli florets here. I have a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of thyme, and then later on we are going to be adding one package of firm tofu some Dijon mustard, and a little bit of turmeric. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil in our frying pan. And we are gonna add in our minced onion. Just gonna saute that onion until it gets translucent. I find it really hard to find vegan brunch recipes that are super delicious. So this is one of my favorites. I've made it several times. People love it. It's great for leftovers. You can take it for lunch the next day. Once our onion is translucent, we're gonna add the garlic. I'm gonna turn it down a scooch so that the garlic doesn't burn. And then I'm gonna add in the broccoli. I'm going to add the salt and the thyme and I'm going to cook that until the broccoli is tender. So we're going to cook this about five minutes just until the broccoli is a little bit tender. So once your broccoli is tender and your onions and garlic are well caramelized, we're going to remove that from the heat and get out our food processor. Okay, into our food processor, I am going to place my block of firm tofu. Just going to break it up a little bit in there. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. and half a teaspoon of turmeric. So turmeric will give your quiche that nice yellow egg-like color. And also in there, I'm going to add half a package of our garlic and fine herbs cashew cheese. And I'm going to turn that on, let it And once that is nice and crumbled into kind of a paste, kind of a grainy paste flavor, I'm gonna add a little more than half of my broccoli and onion mixture. And I'm gonna mix that up again. I don't want it to be completely smooth, but I want it to be a little chunky. Okay, so that looks great. I'm going to add it to the bowl here and then I'll add in the rest of the broccoli and onions mixture. And then I'm just going to fold that in until it's well combined. I'm going to add some freshly ground pepper. And you can taste that and make sure that you have it well seasoned. And then you're going to add that to your favorite crust. What I've just done here is cooked a little bit of puff pastry. You can use a pre-prepared pastry or your favorite 
pie dough and I'm just going to fill that in, spread it out evenly all around. All right, so I'm just going to decorate the top of the quiche with a few little half cherry tomatoes. You can use little broccoli stalks or little mushrooms, they would be really nice too. Okay, so we have our oven preheating. We cooked our pie crust about 10 minutes before we put the filling in. So we're gonna pop this back into the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. All right, so our quiche is out of the oven and it looks amazing. So let's cut into that baby. Should let it sit for, I'd say a good 10, 15 minutes before you try and cut it. So there we go. We have our broccoli quiche made with our Fromagerie Zangari garlic and fine ear herb cheese. Perfect for brunch, perfect for lunch, even dinner. If you want more recipes like this, subscribe to our channel, click the bell, and you'll get notifications every time we release a new video. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day.